students and school presentations, parent groups, open to the public, three minutes per speaker for no longer than 60 minutes total, superintendent's report, correspondence and board comments, personnel agenda, consent agenda, proposed executive session subject to board approval, and then we will have an addendum, and then we will adjourn. That's the same. We do have two small corrections. Um, um, in the personnel agenda, letter N, the first employee's name, rather than Shanice Jarvis as her first name, her name is Shanice, and her last name is Jarvis Edwards. Um, going on to letter O, the second employee, Jonathan Griesing, the date rather than 10-9-2012 is 10-10-2012. Okay, previous minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous regular meeting held on Monday, September 24th, 2012, as circulated. Second. Comments or questions? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Any students or school presentations tonight? <laughs> Good evening. My name is James McQuaid. I'm the president of the National Honor Society here at Beacon High School. Alongside me, I have John Cruz, who is the Vice President, and Billy Rothberg, who is an active member. Tonight we're here to introduce two ideas that we're pursuing in our uh, Honor Society. We have a food drive, and also a Disabilities Awareness Month. Um, I will be speaking about the food drive, and John Cruz will be speaking about the Disabilities Awareness Month. So for the food drive, uh, Beacon High School will be collecting uh, food, which we will be donating to 13 local food pantries. Each of these food pantries collects about 800 uh, non-perishable food items. We work in conjunction with sorority from Marist College, Alpha Kappa Alpha, and we've been collecting for about a week, and we will be collecting until November 16th. We've invited the elementary schools from the, to take part in this, and so far we've received two responses. Glenham responded uh, with a no. However, they are running their own um, their own food drive, and South Avenue responded with a yes that they will take part in our food drive. Sergeant and Forestal have not responded yet, so we're still waiting on them. So we have a box that we would like uh, to give to the board. So hopefully put in your office if you guys would like to take part in this. Great. Well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I can't take my lunch from that box? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. This is a, a wonderful uh, initiative by the Honor Society. It's really great. Thank you. So as, he, as James explained, I'm John Cruz, and I'm the Vice President of National Honor Society. Um, and I'm going to talk about these burgundy bracelets that Ms. Cohen made, who is our advisor, who made for uh, all of the National Honor Society members to wear. Uh, they are to support the Disability Awareness Month, which is this whole month of October. And the idea of these bracelets is the idea that people who have disabilities can't just remove the disabilities whenever they want. They have to, they constantly have to, they can't just get rid of the disabilities. They need to, they need to always have them when they go out in public. And the idea is that we can't just we wear these bracelets around, and um, and, um, and and in the same fashion that people who have disabilities, we can't just remove them, and we need to wear them around in front of public. And Billy has several bracelets that we would like to pass out to the board. Um, Help support disability awareness month.
senior recognition. Myself and many of my classmates received scholarships for different reasons. We were advised to send brief thank you notes to those who made our awards possible. I did not, ju I did not just want to say thank you, however, but I wanted to explain to you that I really am doing well. I wanted you to see that you, as well as my other teachers, have helped to make a difference in my life and in my education. It is now officially October and the seasons are changing. The leaves are falling and it is getting chilly here in Virginia. I hope you aren't too cold back home. I left New York to travel to Hampton about a month and a half ago and I have been having a great time since my arrival. My classes are running smoothly. I have everything that I need even though I am far from my family. I have a group of friends that I feel are a great support system and positive influences. The food is extremely decent and there's a chapel on campus that I attend on Sunday morning. Of course, Hampton is not home exactly, but it is my home by the city. And I am happy that I am here. There are so many organizations at Hampton University to become a part of. Thank you for everything that you all have done to help me get here and adjusting to my new life away from New York. My family and I could not have done this without such influential community leaders such as you. It is always a real blessing to know that someone other than the people who were supposed to support you are there with you and have your best interest in mind. You should be overjoyed because of your hard work and dedication to helping others succeed. Your supplies, monetary contributions, well wishes and prayers especially have helped me make a stressful time in a young adult's life very joyous. I must say that I'm truly blessed and I appreciate all of your efforts as well as all of my teachers. I hope that one day I will be able to give back to my community in the same manner in which you have given to me. 
I have joined the newspaper the yearbook staff here at Hampton as a photographer. I will soon be taking on the visual layouts of each. I am training for the upcoming cheerleading season. This week I am joining the pep squad here on campus and I just interviewed for the Freshman Executive Council, a committee of diligent freshmen who will help our class officers make decisions and run the class. I am officially registered to vote in the state of Virginia. At the annual career fair last Thursday, I got to speak with representatives from big companies such as IBM and Microsoft, who were both happy to accept my resume. Even though things are pretty busy here at Hampton University, my parents are keeping me informed on what is going on in the community. I am thinking of all of you, and I hope you find this letter to be a blessing. Thank you all again so much. Sincerely, Alyssa Renee Barber, 2012 scholarship recipient. So for those of you that know Alyssa, um, it's pretty typical that she would write something like this. Um, just really goes to show, you know, this is why we're in the business we're in. Uh, it's very touching, very moving. Um, and oftentimes, many, many teachers and administrators receive um, letters or emails or text messages from former students. It'd be neat if we could just put them all together in a book and, and let the folks hear um, each other's message, you know, each other's, let them know what other people, what other kids are saying, and especially uh, for the folks in the community. It's really powerful, you know, and we kind of keep them, you know, tuck them away and we save them and we don't share them. So I was really delighted when she um, asked me to um, share it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? Hmm. Guess that's you. I wanted to thank the, uh, the Frank Waller principals for their uh, presentations this evening, the elementary principals last uh, meeting. Uh, next uh, board meeting will be October 22nd. Uh, there'll be a, a business part of the presentation uh, that will have to do with energy performance contracts. That, that'll be a, on the make off scale, make size plays over. Um, and I understand that there will also be a board recognition night. So that will be fun and we'll be right here at the LGI. Um, we're, we're delighted uh, to have a wonderful partner, Dr. Walkley, who's worked so hard to make our conference days as successful as they've been. We ask two questions every single day. Why are we here? And who are we here for? And why are we here is teaching and learning. And that's the focus this year, as you heard uh, from the presentations. And of course, who are we here for? Kim, that was a great letter. We're, and that, that's, that's why we're here. So thank you so much. Okay, do we have any board comments today? Oh, yes. Yeah, Frank, uh, I'm sorry, we've, uh, I, I apologize. But uh, do you have a couple of folks to introduce? We are uh, happy to have appointed tonight uh, two new staff members to the PBS Department and Beacon City School District. And um, each of them are unique in their own way. Uh, Michelle Query, could you stand, Michelle? Michelle Query is our uh, new addition to our uh, occupational therapy um, services. And Michelle, um, probably I received the most outstanding comments, I was telling her on the phone, from her references, and she has worked uh, as an OTR for a number of years. Um, she was with Red Hook Schools just recently. They raved about her, very sad to lose her. She was in the lead replacement position, but she'll be joining our OTR staff and working with children at uh, the middle school and the high school um, uh, starting next uh, Monday. So I want to thank the board for appointing her. And Michelle, thank you for being patient. But you get a flavor of vegan tonight by listening, so thank you for being here. The second person, we've got two gems tonight. Um, you know, you need persistence when you work in special ed. The kids challenge you a lot, the system challenges you a lot, and you have to be persistent and go after your goal. Well, um, Ashley Cortez is hired as a uh, teaching assistant uh, tonight, and she'll join our Rumbout um, staff. And uh, she has been applying and applying and applying, and uh, it, it never got the right timing. Uh, her persistence, 
her persistence not only in wanting to work here, but also in pursuing her own education. She'll have her certifications in uh, uh, 7 through 12 Adolescents with Disabilities, I believe in November and December. Ashley, could you stand, please? And uh, we're happy to have her. And it is the right time, and it's the right position, and we look forward to working with her at Rondo. And I thank you for your patience, but again, you got a flavor of uh, vegan, although you know vegan because you graduated. Great. Okay, so thank you, and thanks for the moment. Thanks, thanks, and uh, welcome, folks. We're, we're glad you're here. Okay, board okay, comments? Larry, do you have a comment? Thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, fellow board members. I bring to you tonight an item for consideration, discussion, and motion that I feel very strongly about. It's about a dedication uh, for our theater in the Beacon High School. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the people I deem worthy of this honor. Uh, Peter and Toshi Seeger have been residents of our community since 1949, longer than most of us have been alive. Although the Seegers have been known for many things, including facilitating the cleanup of the Hudson River, commissioning the Hudson River Sloop, the Clearwater, and dozens of ballads, the kids in our school district know them because of what they do here in the schools. Just ask any of the elementary schools kids who Pete Seeger is, and they'll tell you he's that famous old guy who comes in and sings with us. For decades, Pete has been coming to our schools and getting our kids together for sing-alongs and storytelling sessions. Pete and Toshi brought the Calico Ball to the district almost 25 years ago and even made a donation to see that it continued when the district couldn't fund it anymore. Every child that's been through the third grade in our district has experienced the Calico Ball. Not to mention, Pete always performs with the kids during the shows. Pete also co-founded the Rivertown Kids, now an Emmy Award winning group made up of kids right here from our schools. At, at 93 years old, you might say that Pete was one of our oldest students. I could continue with more, but it would be preaching to the choir. I make my request that this dedication be made in the name of both Pete and Toshi Seeger, as although we usually see Pete, if it weren't for Toshi, he'd never make it to school. Toshi managed and coordinated all of Pete's affairs, especially visits with our kids, and has helped to make the Beacon City School District a priority for their family. Thank you. Thank you. Bill? Yeah, um, I attended the uh, Dutchess County School Board Association meeting last Thursday. Um, one of the items we talked about was that for those of you who may, may be in the, not in the forefront of everybody's mind, but um, the federal government uh, a while ago was trying to balance the budget. They could not come up with a, a way of, of, of balancing the budget that would, everybody would agree to, so they decided to uh, give it to a committee who also failed at that job. And because the committee has failed, um, starting January 1st, there's uh, automatic cuts that will be going in across the board unless Congress does something before then. Um, that will have an impact on us because uh, we get a lot of uh, aid from the federal government. And, uh, you know, if it really is across the board cuts, that means we should be seeing cuts in some of that aid. And so it's something we need to consider uh, and monitor closely um, as, as we prepare our budget. So that was one of the main topics of discussion at our meeting. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Sieverding and Mr. Mulhern and, and Ms. Lazarus for your presentations tonight. Thank you for your in-depth look at each of your departments. Um, I'd like to read a note we received from the governor. Um, State of New York Executive Chamber Procl Proclamation, whereas the National Association of Elementary School Principals and the National Association of Secondary School Principals have declared the month of October 2012 to be National Principals Month, and whereas school principals play a multi multitude of roles as educational visionaries, instructional and assessment leaders, community builders, spokespersons, budget analysts, facility managers, special program administrators, and implementation experts, and use such skills for the betterment of the students in their charge, and whereas school principals work collaboratively with teachers and parents to develop and implement a clear mission high curriculum standards and performance goals, and whereas our principals help to create school environments that facilitate great teaching and learning and continuous school improvement, and whereas the vision, actions, and dedication of principals provide a mobilizing force behind school improvement, and whereas the celebration of Principals Month 
honors elementary school, middle school, and high school principals, and recognizes the important role principals play in ensuring that every child has access to a high quality education. Now therefore, I, Andrew M. Cuomo, Governor of New York State, do hereby proclaim October 2012 as Principals Month in the Empire State. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Sivadink will be buying dinner tonight for you. We'll be right over. Okay. Personnel agenda. Motion to approve the personnel agenda as listed from A to O. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda as follows from A to E. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Addendum. You have resolved that the Board of Education of the Beacon City School District does hereby designate the theater of Beacon High School as the Pete and Toshi Seeger Theater in recognition of their contributions to the arts and education in our community. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Proposed executive session. Motion to adjourn to executive session for the purpose of reviewing the employment history of a particular person, matters leading to the employment of a particular individual, and collective bargaining under the Taylor Law. And the board is not expected to take action after executive session. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all for coming.